Consulting, which is a business that writes grants, tenders and business cases. We've been around for about five years now and in that time we've got over $80 million for our clients in funding and I was a past grants assessor. So my background was working for the department of now DPIRD, Primary Industries and Regional Development, uh, assessing grant applications. So assessing applications to say whether or not they should get the funding. That is also why I like to call value add investment grants vague because I just like to annoy DPIRD. <laughs> um, but no, I was a past grants assessor for DPIRD so that's our background. We're based in both Perth and in the, in the Wheat Belt, in Pingerley and Beverley. So the content of the workshop today, we'll go over a bit about what grants are and what, what that means when you're writing your application. We'll cover what you need to do to plan your project. Some research you're going to need to be, um, be doing to be able to get all the statistics and evidence to add into your application. And then we'll just um, relate that a bit to, to the red grants. So everybody, has different grants that they'll apply for. We'll just relate it a bit to the red grants um, so that you can see how it sort of connects and what, and what it means. Um, and then we'll summarise and have any questions. So what is a grant? Grants are for a specific project. So what that means is you must have a project. Your project has to have a beginning and an end and it has to do something. It has to deliver outcomes or benefits because that is what the funding body is paying for. They are investing in your project to pay for the benefits that your project will deliver, the outcomes your project will deliver. So you must have a project that you are going to include as part of your grant application, which means you need to define your project clearly. So often I'll have a client who might have a bunch of different thoughts of things they're gonna do for their business. They wanna expand this and do this and this. But if you don't have a clearly defined project scope for your application, then it is going to be very hard to sell it and to write a quality application. So what I mean by defining your project is know the tasks you will take in your project, exactly what, you will, what will you do. Once you get the money and you start your project, what will you do? You may need to have design drawings for the construction you're planning to do, or you may need to have a list of equipment, but you need to be very clear about your project scope and define that before you start writing your application. Um, the other thing that you, you need to know about is why funding bodies are providing the grants. Why a funding body is giving out the money will mean everything to your planning of your project and to your deciding which project you do, because you may have a couple of different projects in mind, but which one you choose to do will be dependent on why that funding body is providing that grant. You need to think about what, is they, what are they trying to achieve? Because if you are giving them what they're trying to achieve, you've got more chance, well, you're quite possibly going to get the money. If you're not giving them what they're trying to achieve, there's no way you're getting the money. So you need to consider why funding bodies are providing grants. So as an example, um, if, you are provide, if you are doing a grant, for example, that is being given out by a mining company or a bank, you understand that they're doing that. They're giving away that money because they want publicity. So in your application, you would explain to them how you're going to give them publicity. You're going to you know, pl plaster it all over your, your newsletter and your website, and you're going to have a, a photo opportunity for them, because that's why they're doing it. So think about why is government giving away money to businesses? They're giving away money to businesses, not so you can put it in your pocket and, and get more revenue just for you. They're doing it because they want to build the economy. That's their role, is building the economy. So it's about others, not just about your business. It's about the jobs that you're going to create. It's about the other businesses in the region and how your project is going to give them more work as well. Because if, if, if we're just giving money to one business, that's not fair from a government point of view. It's not fair and it's not, it's not achieving their outcomes. They're wanting to create lots of jobs and they're wanting to create lots of money in the economy. So the flow on effect, as um, you were talking about earlier, the impact onto other businesses is exactly what they are funding, what they're trying to do. So that is, needs to be kept in mind when you are looking at um, your, what, what project you're choosing and whether or not to apply. The other thing to think about in, in why funding bodies pr provide grants is what additional what additionality can you give? So in the vague application, it talks about additionality. Vague. Um, it talks about additionality. And what that means is, well, if they give you money, what extra are you going to give them? So if you're going to do the project anyway, you're going to put the money in and do the project anyway, 
why should government give you money? Because they can just save that money and not give it to you if you're going to do the project anyway. But if they give you the money, you might do the project earlier. So a couple of years earlier, you're going to start hiring people, getting money out to other local businesses two years earlier than you would have if they hadn't given you the money. That's an additionality. That's a benefit. Or you may have been thinking, oh, look, I'm not sure whether I'm going to build my new facility in the southwest, or should I just do it in Perth? Things, you know, might be a bit easier, a bit cheaper in Perth. That's an additionality. Well, if, if I get the funding from the Reds, I can build it here in the southwest and deliver all of those benefits to the southwest region instead of putting another business in Perth. That's an additionality. I'm going to do it here instead of there. So that's something that you're going to give to them for them giving you the money. 